Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe on, that'd be awesome. It has been another long couple of weeks, I think, since I last put out a vlog, let alone picked up the camera. I think the last thing we did was the split fire coil packs on the Skyline, which the Skyline is running absolutely amazing. I couldn't be any more grateful. My thought response has improved. My gas mileage has improved immensely. My car is no longer running rich no more like fuel smell which is good and the power band in between the low and the high is just outstanding it is the morning as you can tell we got the skyline out also today brian ben alex jen and i will be going up the mountain got the first mountain run before i left i double checked all the fluids tire pressure any leaks in my exhaust but i believe i do have one of the bolts to my cat which is a little bit loose but it's not creating a huge leak. So I believe in the future, I'm gonna see if there's a shop that does like custom titanium work. Oh, the four. We're at though. Mushy mushy. It's happening. It's about to happen. How are you? Like I was saying, I'm gonna go see if there's a shop in town that does like titanium work so I can just do three inch titanium back from the downpipe, see if I can reserve the cat somehow, like how the flange is, just because how the ISR downpipe mounts, it kind of pivots the whole exhaust. I think it's like a production issue and I'm not a big fan of it. So it's either I do that or I put my stock downpipe back on so everything lines up correctly. But we're just gonna go ahead and get ready, meet up with Ben and Brian at O'Reilly's. Made it to our first destination. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it's not focusing. I already. Oil? Oil. <laughs> For the S2000. Just got down at the gas station, now on our way up the mountain. I'm gonna do my best to film for you guys. I'll probably just keep the skyline in third so I can film with like my left hand, but I'm gonna be super cautious. I should have gotten this GoPro I was looking at yesterday afternoon, next time for sure. destination sorry I couldn't film too much there's a lot of bikers and a lot of traffic that wouldn't let us pass but the skyline handles so well I think when I get home I'm gonna full send the sway bars I've been wanting to order as well as the remaining front camber kit because I definitely do need to add a little bit more camber up front and zero out the rear because I can feel it kick out when I hit boost but the skyline handles amazing safely made it to the top right as we got to the top ben and i passed to a sheriff and he flashed us but we weren't going super fast but again skyline is handling amazing and i don't know if i mentioned this before but here in the turbo spool and the recirc valve letting off in the air filter through the mountains is just eargasmic oh is that what are you throwing <laughs> Kind of predicament. Oh, you'll be okay. We're at the lowest car up the mountain, and we're oh, there's no way we can. I don't think so, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see up here. Oh, <laughs> 
So yeah, definitely too low to go up the mountain. So we are reversing backwards all the way down. It is the next four days. I stopped filming because unfortunately we had an accident going down the mountain. I will go ahead and roll the clip right now. Okay, yes, no worries. There's actually a five-car pile up further down the mountain, so the sheriff left and he'll be back later, I guess. <laughs> So as you can see, unfortunately, the S2000 is totaled. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm just going off of what Ben told me. But on a side note, Ben and the other driver came out completely safe and unscratched. So we're very grateful for that. I was about 30 seconds behind Ben when it all happened. As I was coming back down, a lot of cars incoming were flashing and honking at me to throw caution, have me slow down because I guess they were signaling an accident and as I turn the corner I see a car parked perpendicular to the street so I slowed down immediately and then once I got around the mountain and saw Ben my heart just sunk to my stomach and immediately pulled over threw my hazards on and ran up to make sure that Ben and the other driver was okay but when Ben told me what happened was as he was coming down the mountain after it rained he hit some wash up and the rear end kicked out and threw him into the guardrail and then tried to correct himself and he hit the curb side of the mountain and then back into the guardrail and then into the truck where he was stopped. Both airbags deployed. All the control arms on the passenger side are all bent and cracked and some of them are broken. I believe there is some frame damage from what we saw and just the amount of time and money it would take for Ben to get the S2000 Drivable just isn't worth it in the long run. So he's going to let insurance handle everything Hopefully cash him out a good amount and then continue on with a new build and or focus more on school and himself But again, everybody came out safe and sound as you can see I got some gnarly ass sunburn waiting for the police officer and the tow truck to come up the mountain which took a couple of hours but again grateful that everybody is safe and sound. A lot of good times with the SC 1000 Such a very clean and simple build that Ben did and I cannot wait to see what he has next in the future. But other than that guys, thank you so much for your continuous love and support. And remember that cars are replaceable. You are not. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive well. We'll see you next video. Take care.